We're now on lesson four of chapter four, which focuses on dilations. So first we're going to identify dilations, then we're going to use the origin as the center of dilation. First, for vocabulary's sake, a dilation. A dilation is a transformation that changes the size, as you can see, but not the shape of a figure. So even though this dilation made this blue triangle much larger than the old red triangle, it is still the same shape, meaning all the sides are proportional to the other ones. A couple other words to know is the center, or the origin it's often called, which is zero, zero. That's where we usually start with the dilation, we create it from the center. And as you can see, the dilated image, this new image that was dilated, follows the same line from the center as the old image. And that's a great way to check your work today after you've done your dilations. The scale factor is also a good word to know. The scale factor tells you how much this image is being dilated or how much bigger or smaller is it getting. Here we see that this was a scale factor of 2. So that means that this length is going to be twice as long as that length. As you see it's 1, 2, 3, 4 apart here and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 apart here. It also tells me that the coordinates were doubled. Look at this. So this is multiplied times 2. 1, 1 turned into 2, 2. 3, 1 turned into 6, 2. 2, 3 turned into 4, 6. See how the scale factor doubled all those coordinates? And that's how we're going to be doing dilations today. We're going to multiply the coordinates times the scale factor. First we need to identify dilations though. So we need to tell whether each transformation is a dilation and then explain. So for this one we knew it was a dilation because it followed the scale factor. The uh, proportions all matched. So we'll say the distance between A and B and A1 and B1 will be proportional to the distance between B and C and B1 and C1. So let's first let's convert A and B to A1 and B1 here. A to B is three units away from each other. A1 and B1 are one, two, three, four, five, six units away. We're going to do the new one over the old one. So A1 to B1 was six, that goes on top. A to B is three, that goes on the bottom. So that's our ratio for A to B. How about B1 to C1? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 away. This one was 1, 2, 3, 4 away. So that would be 8 over 4. Are these ratios proportional? These, this one's a little bit of an easier one because we know that 8 divided by 4 is going to be 2, and then 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2 as well. So they're both 2 over 1 or a scale factor of 2. So these sides are proportional. And since these sides are proportional, I know the third one's going to be proportional as well because that's how triangles work. So I know that this is a dilation. Another quick way to check your work too, I still want you to show this work, but another quick way to check a dilation is remember it has to follow the same path out of the origin. So there's that, there's B, and then there's C. So as you can see, they all follow that same path from the origin. That's the quick way of checking, but I do want you to also check using this method as well. Now let's check these rectangles. So I have rectangle L, M, N, and then skipping O and P, so L, M, N, P, and then L1, M1, N1, P1. So this dilation made it smaller. So is the ratio between L and M and L1, M1 the same as M and N and M1 to N1? Let's find out. So the distance between L and M is 1, 2, 3, 4. The new one is 1, 2. So we'll do new over old. So 2 over 4 is my ratio. And then I'm comparing that to 1, 2, 3, 4 for the new one and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for the old one. So new over old would be 4 over 6. So that gives me 2 over 4. Is that equal to 4 over 6? Well, I know that 2 over 4 is similar to 1 over 2, if I could simplify that. So I got that simplified. How about 4 over 6? I know 4 over 6, if I divide both by 2, it would turn into 2 over 3. So if I look at these two sides, I see that they are not proportional. This one's only half as long as the old one. This one is 2 thirds as long as the old one. So these are not proportional. So I know this is not a dilation. If we want to check the quick way, remember we can go to the origin and see if it follows the line from the origin. It does not. M does not even. 
N does not, and then P does not. So none of them do. All four of them have to if it would be a dilation. Now let's actually create some dilations using the origin as the center of dilations. Remember the origin is 0, 0. So we get to create the dilations this time. If you notice on the first one, where we had 1, 1, when there was a scale factor of 2, we multiplied both of those times 2 to give us 2, 2. Same thing for this, times 2 gave us 6, 2. That's all we're doing over here. I have the vertices here for A, B, and C. If I multiply those times 2.5, I will get my new image somewhere out here, which will be a dilation. So for A, we'll do one at a time. A is 2, 2. So A equals 2, 2. If I multiply the 2 and the 2 times the scale factor, that'll give you my new point for A. So it'd be 2 times 2.5, 2 times 2.5. 2 times 2.5 is 5, and then that would be 5 as well. So my new A coordinate, I'm going to call it A1, equals 5 and 5. So we'll go to 5 here, go to 5 here, and that's my A1 coordinate, and I'm going to drag this up over here. To create a B1 coordinate, we'll go with B. So B is 3 and 4. So 3 and 4 would be B. So we'll multiply both of these times the scale factor. 3 times 2.5, 4 times 2.5. 3 times 2.5 is 7.5. So B1 equals 7.5. And then 4 times 2.5 is 10. So here's my new coordinate for B, B1. 7.5. 10. So here's my new spot. So I'll drag this up here and save that. And then I need to find C1. So we'll use C for that. So C equals 5 and 2. So if we're going to dilate this one, we would multiply 5 times 2.5 and then 2 times 2.5. 5 times 2.5 is 12.5. C1 equals 12.5. And then 2 times 2.5 is 5. So if we'll do, so this one will be a little difficult to plot because 12 is off the map a little bit. So I'll make a guess. Here's 11, here's 12, here's 12 and a half, and then here's 5. So this could be a little off, but that's okay um, for this purpose. So now we can actually create our triangle. We can go from A to B, from B1 to C1, and C1 to B1. And this is a dilation, if we did it right, a dilation of A, B, C. So to check to see if it was a dilation, we could actually go from the center of the origin, take a ruler out, pass through A, does it also go through A1? It does. Pass through B, does it also go through B1? This one does as well. Pass through C, does that go through C1? Remember, this one's going to be a little off because I guessed over here, but that's pretty close too. So it tells us to list the vertices of the image. So if I write the vertices down here, I'll just drag these down. So A1 is 5, 5, B1 is 7.5, 10, and then C1 is 12.5 and 5. Here the scale factor is 2 over 3. So it asks us the vertices of this image then. Well, we have A, which is over here, B, which is over here, and C, which is over here. The scale factor is less than 1, so that means this is going to become a smaller figure. So we can do the same thing we did with A, B, and C. We multiply that times the scale factor. So A is 3 and 9. So if we're going to multiply that times the scale factor, we do 3 times 2 thirds and 9 times 2 thirds. 3 times 2 thirds, so we do 3 times 2, which is 6, divided by 3 is 2. And then 9 times 2 thirds, 9 times 2 is 18, divided by 3 is 6. So my new vertices for A1, we'll call it, equals 2, 6. So 2 and 6. So since it's a smaller than 1, it's actually going to end up closer to the origin, and that makes sense. I'm going to delete this triangle for now, just so we can work over here. Then I'll bring this A1 over here. So now let's solve for B. B's coordinates are 9 for X and then 6 for Y, so 9 and 6, 
So we multiply that times 2 thirds, it would be 9 times 2 over 3, and then 6 times, times 2 over 3. So 9 times 2 is 18, divided by 3 is 6. And then 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 3 is 4. So 6 and 4 would be my B1 coordinate. So if we plot that out, it would be 6 and 4. Now we need to get C. So C is currently at 6 and 3. Now let's multiply that times the scale factor. So 6 times 2 thirds, 3 times 2 thirds. 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 3 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6, divided by 3 is 2. So my new vertices for C1 are 4 and 2. So we plot that out. 4 for x, 2 for y. And here comes my new triangle. Connect A to B, connect B to C, connect C to A. And then we can check our work to see if it's actually a dilation after I drag this up. So we'll go from the origin, passing through A. Does it go through A1? Sure does. How about B? That one's right on. I, my markings might have been a little off. And then C passes right through as well. So this is a dilation. So my vertices are A1 is 2, 6, B1 is 6, 4, and C1 is 4, 2.